Yo. The name is Alpern, and today we are taking another overview look, this time around at the Wehrmacht faction, its tech tree, what units there are to select from, as well as their costs. Wehrmacht is one of the more straightforward factions when it comes to their teching design in Company of Heroes 3. Although it has quite a bit of depth, and many choices for the player to decide from to react and adapt to your opponent. In tier 0, Ver has access to this super cheap utilities unit, the Pioneer, which is your repairing, sweeper and flamer unit. This unit is really squishy, since it's only 3 models, and has very poor combat power, though you can get the flamer to get a bit more juice out of it. Then there is also the Kettenkrad, which specializes in capturing territory, as it has the fastest capturing rate in the game. It also has an amazing upgrade, which Wehrmacht can afford at the start of the game, which increases the resources from all points by plus 3, no matter if they're large or small fuel or munition nodes. This resource increase stays until the points get decaptured, meaning you want to use this on your save points to get maximum value. Apart from that, there is also the medics in tier 0, but you're always forced to tech tier 1 as Ver, since all other tech structures requires tier 1. This is usually something you do at the start of the game, as Ver can afford tier 1 with its starting resources. In tier 1, Ver gets access to the Grenadier, the MG42, a Mortar as well as a Sniper. The Grenadier, which you can use as mainline, is quite weak, meaning you're usually going to want to replace it with infantry from later tiers. The other units, however, are specialized as support units, and they all do really well supporting the Grenadiers, as the Grants sort of become spotters and tanks damage for whatever supporting units you go with. The Grenadiers really do excel in this role, as they get a merge ability, allowing your machine guns, flamethrowers or mortars to stay longer on the field, as well as a snare to stop any vehicles. After tier 1, Ver has many choices when it comes to teching. Tier 1 unlocks all teching structures, meaning you can pick and choose whichever path you like. In tier 2, Ver gets access to the Jaeger squad, which has quite a bit of utility as they for instance can be upgraded with Panzerschrecks. You also get the 2 to 1 half truck, as well as a Flak 30 AA gun. Teching tier 2 also unlocks the Jaeger transfer orders, where you can replace your Grenadiers with Jaegers for a price reduction. Oddly this transfer is placed in tier 1, but in this tech tree I have placed it in tier 2 to easier visualize where it is unlocked. Tier 2 can also be upgraded to what I'd like to refer as tier 2.5, unlocking the anti-infantry verbal wind medium, as well as the martyr tank destroyer, giving this tier a lot of options versus all types of compositions. In tier 3, you get the Panzergardiers, which specializes in anti-infantry, and they are strong at all ranges. You also get the pack gun, as well as the 251 half truck, which can act as a forward reinforcement point. You also, similar to tier 2, get the Panzer Jaeger transfer order, which replaces a Grenadier with a Panzer Grenadier for a price reduction. Tier 3 can also be upgraded to tier 3.5, unlocking the Nebelwerfer rocket artillery piece and a Stug 3G tank destroyer. Again, similar to tier 2.5, Tier 3.5 allows you to somewhat scale into mid and even late game with specialized options for most scenarios. In the final tier, tier 4, Ver gets access to the Elite Stoßtruppen, another specialized anti-infantry squad. You also unlock the Generalist Panzer IV and the specialized anti-infantry tank, the Brumbär. There is no transfer orders for Grenadiers here, but there is a side skirts upgrade which improves the side armor of the Panzer IV, the Brumbär, but also the Stug and the Verbal Wind from the earlier tiers. In each tier of the faction, there is also the Office Quarters, which when teched upgrades all your units from that tier to Veterancy 1, while also increasing their Veterancy rate. This further emphasizes how Ver can really specialize in whatever tier you decide to go for, there is also great synergy across the tiers, such as how the flak can be supported by Grenadier compositions with Merge, or how the 251 half-track 
can support a tier 1 heavy support weapon composition. I must really admit that Wehrmacht has quickly become my favorite faction, and arguably Relic's most well-designed faction across all iterations of the franchise. It's really not flashy, but extremely simple while also staying flexible, and the faction really reeks of flavor. You can find high-res versions of the latest tech trees I've shown in the video over at my Discord, the link's in the description. If you like this video, please do make sure you're subscribed to support me as a creator, and if you have any plans of purchasing Company of Heroes 3, you can do so while simultaneously supporting me by using the, the link in the description and using code Alpern on checkout. Thank you very very much for watching.